guest year are at the Tennyson Road Horse and Pony <laughs> Shelter and I've got with me Debbie Bailey and John Starkey, uh, the owners of Sydney. Um, Debbie, tell me a bit about what's happened since the unfortunate incident here with Sydney the other week. We've been receiving uh, donations. Uh, we've had to have a post box put in because of receiving the mail. What well, We've never received mail before, have we? No. And um, we've had two uh, £500 cheques received. A, le a local lady sent one. And uh, a Mary Walker, who's not from the area, she's uh, sent another £500. It was, she rung me earlier on and uh, she was in tears again over it. She wants to keep in touch, you know, really nice lady. I believe she's from uh, uh, Croydon. Yeah, yeah. So that so the cheques and donations have been coming in from and letters from all, all of the country, really? Oh, yeah. We've had sympathy cards, Yorkshire. Letters, yeah. We've had um, messages on the phone from, like, Wales, Scotland. The, high, oh, the Highlands yeah. of Scotland. We've had yeah. a chap that's going to set up as a website. Yeah. And what do you intend to do with the money that's been donated? We're going to try and get some wood together to get some stables up for the winter and sort some more fencing out and that. And John, I believe you told me a businessman's offered you a reward of £1,000 for information. He has, yeah, a local businessman. Um, it should be in the Manchester Evening News in the next couple of days, actually. He, just, he said leave it with him. He was in touch with somebody at the Evening News. Um, yeah, he's, he's very distraught about what's happened. Um, he was very distraught about what happened to Aaron as well, because it was my son who actually found him, because of the age of the child. But he, has, he sounded a lovely man. Um, he said he's going to get back in touch with us. He wants to talk about some security on here, and he's put a thousand pound up reward to try and find out who did this to Sydney. So with a bit of luck, somebody out there will be tempted now. And what's the mood of people locally and in, and in Middleton about what's happened? They're furious, They're furious yeah. you know, out, outraged. Disgusted. You know, some of the words that people have used, well, I wouldn't like to repeat. Disgrace the town. That's what everyone's saying. I believe there's even talk of vigilante mobs going around yeah. trying, trying to find these people. There is, yeah. yeah. That's, what that's the talk anyway. That's, that's the talk, said. and you know, I've seen certain people and that, and their thoughts are very aggressive to the people that have done this. They'd like to get a grip of them and pull them apart, like they did with Sydney, really as would probably a lot of other people, but we well, just think That's a matter for the police to, to deal with that and, and the RSPCA. Because we want some coats for the minis and that, oh, don't yeah, we? we've got to buy a couple of coats for the little miniature ponies. The big they... horses have got all the gear like they're all sorted, ready. Yeah. So, so you're hoping that local business will become involved and donate money towards the cause? After all, the benefits of this aren't just the fact that these are your animals, it's the, it's the local children as well that enjoy coming here to see them. Oh yeah, it's beneficial to everybody in the area. It has changed the area, hasn't it? Yeah. This was just land not being used. It, it, just, here for it, anybody. it was just run down, wasn't it? Yeah. It was nothing. It was and just... now they're bringing the kids and they, they love it, don't they? Yeah, not all the people come across, like, yeah, you know, with the kids it. and that, the park's over the road and that. It's a good spot to be in for the kids. It's wrong that it should be ruined in the community. So at least possibly some, some good can come out of what happened here to Sydney, hopefully. Well, hopefully, yeah. Time will tell. Hope, hope they get found for doing it. Well, I've got here Aaron, Chanel and Natasha um, at the shelter. Aaron, uh, I believe you discovered the uh, horrific injuries to um, Sydney the Goat. Yes, I did. How did you feel about this? I feel upset and sad because I used to play with him all the time and used to come out and feed him and that. And you come down here every day, more or less? Um, pretty much, yeah. And you yeah, ride the horses, basically? I, pref I can do, but I prefer not to. Uh, Chanel, what do you think about what's happened? And do you um, enjoy coming down here most of the time? Yeah, I think it's really bad because he didn't do out wrong. And he was dead friendly. And um, I come down here every day and I, I, I um, give Tasha's kids a ride on the horses and they like coming down. And Natasha, your children come down quite often. How have they taken what's happened here? The lad's not so, he's all right about it because he's never really come down much, but my little girl, she's a bit upset about it. And do they enjoy coming here, the kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, very much. Yeah. A, if they can ride on the horses, yeah. Well, if you could donate anything at all to the shelter, especially things for these animals behind me, like um, rugs, buckets, um, jackets, straps, leads, anything at all, even fencing, please get in touch with us at GPSJ. Um, 0845... 345 5222. That's 0845 345 5222. And thank you.